Teleportation has long been a staple of science fiction yarns. Pol people are magically zapped from one location to another or even to another time or dimension. Last year, a Las Vegas scientist wrote a paper for the U.S. Air Force that argued teleportation is an achievable technology and legitimate science. The report caused an international flap and was denounced as a waste of money. With permission from the Air Force, the scientist is talking publicly about his study for the first time. He spoke exclusively with the I-team's George Knapp. Where are we going? Where they went. When most of us think of teleportation, Kirk, Spock, and the Enterprise come to mind. And a mighty handy little transit system that gizmo is, but teleportation, it's not. Teleportation is not a form of dematerialization, which is what the Star Trek uh, science fiction method does. Uh, teleportation says to take, the animate, to take the animate or inanimate bulk object and literally move it instantaneously across space, time, or through dimensions. Eric Davis is no sci-fi fan. He was selected by the Air Force Research Lab to evaluate what the state of the art of teleportation is. Is it real? Could it work? And how could it benefit the Air Force? When his report was made public last year, it caused a firestorm. Critics slammed it as crackpot science, a waste of Air Force money. News organizations hounded Davis. Why risk such grief? The Air Force's position is, is that we do not leave any stone unturned. If we are to find a new science, a new technology, new phenomena that would help augment and enhance or activate Air Force missions, uh, then we must pursue those. What Davis found is that there is a lot of serious research into teleportation underway all over the world. Hundreds of peer-reviewed scientific papers have been written in the past five years, and the results are encouraging. One option explored by Davis is a stargate, just like the movie, stepping through a gate into a traversable wormhole, then instantly teleporting to any other spot in the universe or other universe, even through time itself. Wild stuff, but even Einstein said it's possible. Another version might resemble the alien device in contact that sent Jodie Foster on a wild ride through time and space. Initial research on something like this has already been done at the Institute for Advanced Studies in Austin. Most controversial was Davis' explanation of some research into psychic teleportation. He relied on declassified documents to show what the Chinese are doing in this area. Stunning results, according to U.S. intelligence agencies. It's not hard to imagine the benefits, if it ever works, moving troops behind enemy lines without needing planes or ships, inserting spies into inaccessible spots, reaching out to grab wanted fugitives and then bringing them to justice. Whoever gets this technology first could, in essence, rule the planet, which is why the Air Force studied it in the first place. The ball game's over, absolutely. You would have a very uh, covert, illicit means of uh, effective uh, surprise attacks effective uh, surprise abductions, kidnappings, and espionage. intelligence ga gathering, intelligence uh, espionage, exactly. It's a long way exactly. off, but not impossible. Um, Top research labs have already teleported matter consisting of a billion or so atoms, and it worked. Transporting people is far more challenging. We all remember what happened in the movie, The Fly. You'll be all right now. I know it's worked! <laughs> Davis points out that in some teleportation schemes, the original you would have to be destroyed and a new you would emerge elsewhere. It'll take a brave person to try that one the first time. And no one knows if the essence of you could be preserved. Your memories with your experience? Well, that we can't answer yet. We don't have a physics of consciousness or a, a biology of consciousness yet. Considering the potential, research on teleportation will continue, if not in the U.S., then somewhere else. George Knapp, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. The Air Force study cost $25,000, although it's believed that many times that amount is being spent in classified research programs looking at these same questions. Dr. Davis says the Chinese are spending much more on this research than the United States.